G'day guys, 2005 Subaru Impreza, 2 litre. It's come in today for a uh, engine misfire. I've already checked for codes and there are none, so what are we gonna do to try and find this ignition misfire? We are going to get a capacitive pickup on these leads, and we're gonna get a secondary ignition waveform and see if we can decide what we need to do from there. So I'm gonna get my little capacitive pickup, we're gonna put it on there, we're gonna set up the Pico. Um, I can't really get that happening and record it at the moment right now, so what I'm gonna do is I will do that off camera and then I'll get the waveforms up on the screen and I'll get you a good view and explain what's going on. All right, so here's my setup. Got the capacitive pickup on the leads individually, one by one. I've got the earth on a known good earth down here. So we're gonna put the Pico on and stick it on one channel and we'll get it up and have a look. Okay guys, let's see what we see here. Um, so I've just got this capture loaded up and I'm gonna go screen by screen. So as we can see here, this is when it's idling and running normally. As we can see our firing line, I've zoomed in quite heavily so we can see quite a lot of detail. So we can see the spark burn line here. Um, and what I'll do is I'll go frame by frame until we get to the misfire. And as you can see, we start to get to the misfire. The spark KV goes up, firing KV goes up. Let's go another screen. As you can see here, we start to get a little bit of hash around that area. One more. This is probably the worst part of it, as we can see there. So what I'll do is I will take a screenshot of that. And um, actually, I've already done that. So let's just go to that now. All right, now we are on the drawing page. So as you can see, our burn time that was roughly around that period has now diminished to that period. Our firing KV has gone up really high. And the main area that we're worried about is this here. That hash usually indicates carbon tracking. So we can automatically suspect there's a carbon tracking issue, either internal to the coil or around the spark plug area. So we're going to look into that. Um, another thing we can see, I'll get rid of this. But what might stick out to you from your lean density misfire waveforms is this high area here. And it actually shows up for exactly the same reason. So when you have a lean density misfire, you have your spark plug burn time. And when there's no fuel left to conduct, the spark line goes up. So because this is actually happening outside of the cylinder, there's no fuel to conduct. So it does exactly the same thing. So hopefully that makes sense. I probably can't explain it properly, but um, We'll go out to the car now and we'll have a good look and we'll check the coil and we'll check the plug and we'll decide what to do. The first thing we're going to do is a scan the down to test, well that's what I call it anyway. It's uh, the first time I ever saw that was looking at this channel. So we know that this lead here is good. So we're going to check the spark coming out of this coil. We know that this is the problem cylinder. So what we're going to do is we are going to stress test these coils by disconnecting the plug. We've got our test light to earth and we're going to slowly get the spark to come to our test light and move the test light away and then see if we can stress test that that replicates uh, high demand. So let's do it on the good one. As we can see it comes out quite far, nice. Get that back on, let's do this one. As we can see, it comes out quite far also. So that's good, let's move on to the next step. Next step is to pull out the uh, plugs and have a quick look at them and we'll just visually check the leads at the same time. Um, I just quickly pulled out both of them already and let's just have a look at the failing cylinder. Check out all the carbon tracking on the plug porcelain right there. Uh, if you can see all that, even right at the top. That's what's causing our misfire. Insulation breaking down on the lead. Easier path to ground. Carbon tracking, ionizing.
that's why we have those squiggly lines on our actual misfire waveform, on our secondary ignition waveform. So that's what's causing it. This is going to get new plugs, new leads. I will tell the customer that um, the coil looks okay at the moment, but obviously when uh, spark plugs and um, spark plug leads fail, they put higher stress on the coil, so it can lead to premature failure of that coil anyway. So, um, well, it's up to the customer what they want to do, and I'll get back to you whenever they decide, and hopefully if they do want to go ahead, we'll get the new ones in, and we'll do another waveform, and we'll compare it. All right, welcome back. We've got new plugs and leads on. We are set up with a capacitive pickup, earth on the battery, and we are on the peak at the moment. What I'm going to do is I am going to start screen recording and I'll get you over to there. We'll give it the brake torque and we'll see what our waveform looks like. All right, guys, we're on the screen. Our trigger's set. Hopefully you can hear me. I'm not sure if this microphone's any good on this laptop. It's one of my new laptops that I'm running Pico on. So I'm just going to jump in the car now and we're going to brake torque it to get it under the same conditions it was before and we're going to see what difference it makes. So as you can see guys, that was a perfect waveform. Uh, we know it wasn't doing what it was doing before. Our problem has been eliminated. So hopefully that makes sense guys. Hopefully you learnt a little bit here. Uh, if you didn't, uh, I'm sorry. I'm not the greatest teacher. I, you know, I don't claim to be a teacher. I'm just showing you guys what I do. And uh, if you did find this interesting, then please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching guys.